Ever wondered what causes those massive, awe-inspiring sandstorms that seem to rise out of nowhere? Sandstorms, also known as dust storms, are a fascinating phenomenon. They blanket the sky in a gritty haze, transforming the landscape into an alien world. They're not random events, but rather are most common in arid and semi-arid regions where loose sand and soil are prevalent. Think the Sahara Desert, the Middle East, and parts of Australia. These storms occur quite frequently, up to a hundred times a year in some places. They're not just a spectacle to behold from a safe distance. Sandstorms have profound impacts on the environment, altering landscapes and ecosystems. They also affect human lives, disrupting transportation, damaging infrastructure, and posing health risks. But the question that looms large is this, what exactly triggers these monstrous sandstorms? Are they a result of human activity, a whim of mother nature, or a combination of both? Let's delve deeper into the enigma of sandstorms. So what exactly triggers these monstrous sandstorms? The birth of a sandstorm is a fascinating process governed by the intricate dance of the elements. In essence, a sandstorm is born when the Earth's dry, loose sand gets into a tango with strong winds. This dance begins with the wind sweeping across the surface, picking up and carrying away the top layer of sand. The strength of the wind plays a significant role in this process. The stronger the wind, the higher and further the sand particles can travel. Now let's talk about the dancers themselves. The sand particles. The size and weight of these particles greatly influence the height and distance they can reach during a sandstorm. Smaller, lighter particles can be carried higher and travel further, while larger, heavier ones are usually limited to a smaller radius. However, the performance of this elemental ballet doesn't solely rely on the wind and sand. The atmospheric conditions, including temperature and humidity, also play a vital role in the formation and dissipation of sandstorms. For instance, cooler temperatures and higher humidity can cause the sand particles to clump together, making them heavier and thus harder for the wind to lift. On the other hand, hotter, drier conditions can lead to the opposite effect, allowing the sand particles to disperse more freely and create a more extensive sandstorm. In essence, Sandstorms are the dramatic result of a complex interplay between Earth and air. Sandstorms, as we've discovered, are not mere accidents of nature. They're intricate events born from a blend of atmospheric conditions and environmental factors. Their formation is a testament to the power and unpredictability of our planet. These towering walls of sand are more than just awe-inspiring spectacles. They impact our environment, disrupt human lives, and affect ecosystems. Understanding these natural phenomena is key to appreciating our world's complexity. Next time you see those towering walls of sand, remember, there's a whole world of science behind that spectacle.